Anybody in here yet? No. Perfect. Now I can look at these damn chats. Or these messages. Wait for people to jump on. Blah, blah, blah. Who are you? I need to know if you could hear me okay. Alex, what's up, dog? Lamont, what up, bro? Um, can you guys hear me all right? Nice. Shalom, shalom. Share this on Facebook. Let's get some more people. I'm trying to still share it through text. Six people so far. All right. Steve, what's up? Black powder in the building. Oh. I'm aware that I forgot that um, Andre does Wednesdays as well, so I'm thinking next uh, next month we'll switch it to Tuesday. Happy Paws. What's up, Happy Paws? I don't know who you are, but catch your name. Papa Man, what's up? Appreciate you joining us. Throw this up on Facebook so we get more of you fuckers in here. Start a good Q&A session. Discuss what's new. Battlebred canines, Battlebred concepts, Battlebred family, Battlebred is life. I had to angle the camera a certain way, you know, somebody's camera shy. <laughs> I'll spare you the details. <laughs> okay. Who else? What's going on, man? How many push-ups we had today? Viking family, LG, salute, salute, shalom, shalom. Forgot to delete that fucker's number. Okay. Martin, what's up, dog? Force uh, American Bulldogs in the building. Up to 11, not a bad start. Once we get enough people in here, we can start doing some Q&A and seeing where everybody's at. Reaper Hush, Colossal Mastiff. Yeah, hit that like button. Absolutely. Share on Facebook. I'm still sharing here on my phone. Salute, salute. Shalom, shalom. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Go through all these people in text and send them the notification. 12. Kyan, what's up, bro? How's that staffy bull doing? We haven't spoken in a while. Hit me up. Give me a call. Good, man. Everything's good. Martin said, yo, let's talk more about children and dogs. Got to make sure dogs know they're loved, but not equal to humans in the home. Precisely. And I've stressed that a few weeks ago, like uh, three, four times, man. 
I do not believe, and I don't care what breed it is, I don't, I don't think any dog should be left alone with a child for any reason, unsupervised. You're asking for trouble. And like I said before, you know, it, it's, it's never your dog, and your dog would never do that until he or she does that. What do you see in all those news reports, right? It's, well, my dog would never do that. <laughs> we just never thought he would do that. She went to reach for his kibble and got her little ass torn up. And that's the end of that story. A little bit of baby over here, a little bit of baby over there. Sad shit. Alex said, amen to that. Kids need to respect dog's nature. And that's the problem. Nobody's whooping their fucking ass anymore. I'll Bernie Mac your child. I will fuck your kid up. <laughs> what do you say? If you're old enough to talk shit, you're old enough to get fucked up. See, I would never touch nobody's dog growing up because I knew that dog might bite the shit out of me. Pretty straightforward. Does it have teeth? Well, I'm not fucking touching it then. Up to 12. Give it a give it a share, people. <laughs> Nothing. It wouldn't. <laughs> Stage right, huh? And not only that, when dogs are eating, I think it should be just a mandatory thing. Gate them off in the kitchen. Get them away from everybody. Loving all the new interviews. Guardian Guardian of the Hive. Loving all the new interviews. Appreciate that, man. I'm trying. Feels like everybody's busy right now, so locking in the time. Um, like, for example, I had to rearrange two last week, or was it the week before? So that was kind of asked out, but it happens. Life happens. Is there a way I could just like share it right from here to Facebook? Ah, I see. I'm still new at the live thing. Give me a break. I've only done this like five or six times, but I never did the share thing. There we go. Technology. Technology. I'm not answering any notifications on Facebook. I mean. There's a couple things I wanted to address, but we're going to wait until there's more people here. James from Authentic K9 here. Appreciate the content you're putting out. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Salute. Off breeds. Yeah, I just actually not too long ago figured out that by off breeds, they mean breeds that are not shepherds, mouths, things like that for personal protection. I had no clue. Why do they keep saying off breeds? Sometimes I think a bulldog could do it better, but that's just me. <clears throat> 16. I'd get a little higher before we start addressing shit. A couple things I wanted to touch on. Based on the week 27 texts. I'm not going through all that. I sent it out. Jump on. Andre said, copy, I'll swing by. Nice. Nice. Um, take a American Sentinel canine. Lee, what is up, my brother in Christ? God bless you, man. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. What? All right. All right. Um, by the way, um, a lot of people have been tuning into the podcast itself, the audio version, but I guess some of you don't know about it. You can find 
uh, Battlebred Concepts on Spotify now, the, the um, interviews. But I don't get those to Spotify as quickly as I get them up on YouTube. So that should be noted. Um, oh, the whole members only thing. I don't know. YouTube just kind of had that whole thing. So basically, uh, so people didn't panic. I made the old like 2020 videos members only, or was it 2021? I think 2020. And it's like $3 a month or some shit. I was like, why not? See what happens. Um, Oh, Bruce wanted to let everybody know Valley Lee outdoors. What's going on, my friend? Valley Lee outdoors. Is that? If you're a first timer, welcome. Um, yeah, Bruce wanted me to let you guys know that. Uh, while yeah, while while yes, the vet will recommend Robitussin for certain situations. Um, he experienced Robitussin having some pretty bad effects on dogs, and I did put out that video recently on dog safe medicine. So, um, keep that in mind. But I mean, I did say at the beginning of the video, you know, if there's an issue, consult with a vet if you don't know what the hell you're doing. I've never used Robitussin, but that was on the list of dog safe medication. So I just put it out there. But according to Bruce Huffmaster, um, it, it, it had some pretty fucked up effects. Um, so, yeah. And I'm still kind of figuring out the whole members only to public thing. That was another part of it, but I don't like to keep you guys waiting. If I get something finished, I like to have it just released the next day. 16. Let's see. Who, oh, did I reach out to everybody? It took me a while. What does my mom say? My microphone went out. I uh, had to relight it. 19. What's going on? Who's in the building? 19 people so far. Let's get this Q&A going. Jackie Miller, what's going on? How's it going? Interview coming soon with Jackie Miller, by the way. Let's get some Q&A going. Leroy, what's up? Blueprint Kennels in the building. Valley Lee Outdoors. I don't know the name of your channel. I just texted a shitload of people. Who are you? But if you're new, welcome. Jackie Miller said, not bad, taking care of kids and pups, thanks. That's a task and a half. But don't be shit, hit the like button. <laughs> yeah, don't be shit, hit the like button. But she said the kids are harder. Yeah, I agree. At least if the dogs are getting out of hand, you can kennel them. We got the same breed if it's the Jackie I'm thinking of. I think it is. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see if Valley Lee Outdoors is in my contacts. Valley Lee Outdoors. Valley Lee Outdoors. I don't know. I don't know, mate. First time catching a live. Love the vids, bro. I appreciate that. Lovecraft bullies. Bear blazing Bachman. Makes me sad. Make me happy fast. 
Okay, is that spam or what? Me so sad, make me happy fast. Blair Bear Blazing Bachman. Say that 10 times fast. It's not spam. Is it my daughter? No dogs, no more. Oh, I see the uh, profile picture there. Yeah, you were on here. You were on here before. What What do you mean by that? No dogs, no more. Finally, uh, I reached out to you for an interview a while back about, uh, you gave me some words of motivation. Yes, I know who you are. Uh, you got the suit in the picture, right? Yeah, I said something along the lines of, what are you on? What am I on? Uh, you want me to make a list? That's a pretty big question. Yeah, that's definitely spam or somebody trying to fuck with me. But I recognize that picture. Weren't you on here the last time? Come on, kid. That's a dog channel. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. What's up, Battlebred XL Bullies? What's up? What's going on? All right. Yeah, peace. I, 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 I'm lost. What am I on? I, I could make a list. I'm on everything. Per painkiller cigarettes, weed. I'm just joking. Just cigarettes. Maybe a little bit of weed, but yeah, that's, that's about it. If that's what you meant. All right. I don't, I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's it's a it's a spammer. Break break your teeth was worse. We cool. I I'm lost, but all right. Bear blazing Bachman. Break your teeth like my teeth. I carry a mouth guard with me. That's it's not easy. Do. You think I'm like joking or no, like in my back pocket. Then I, I carry a mouth guard. I like my teeth. What's the topic? I don't know. I just like to check in with all my people. Um Q and A, man. Just like to touch base with everybody once a well, once a month. See, you know, if we're all on the same page. Anybody have any questions? To always. Okay. Karambit. Yeah, I have a folding karambit and a fixed karambit. But the fixed karambit is a is a neck like a necklace one. Dakota, elevated kennels. What's up, brother? Would you rather breed to a good dog's dad or the good dog himself? That's that's a big question. I've seen I've seen two do, two good dogs make dog shit animals, and I've seen I've seen two shitty dogs make fucking killers. So I mean, it it really all depends. Um, if I wanted to get more of a replica of what's in front of me what i like then i mean i might go back to the dad um okay now it's coming fast okay hold on let me catch up guys no keep keep it coming i just gotta scroll scroll back uh what interviews do you have coming up a magician never reveals his secrets <laughs> no i got a few coming up uh, any pit bull men in the building? Plenty. Carry knives, pass carry, one knife and two guns. Yeah, oh, I'm in South Carolina, baby. We got the Second Amendment and we use it. How's the pup doing, Eric? Wait, I just skipped. Oh, yeah. oh man, Reaper is doing 
great. <laughs> in fact, he's becoming one of those dogs that as he's becoming a dog, he's only 10 months old, but as he's becoming a dog, man, just look at him just like, holy shit, man. He'll be 11 months old uh, the 20th. Um, but yeah, he just I could just stare at the dog for hours, especially when he plays with his mom. Um, little goat number one, love your interviews. I appreciate that. Thanks for hopping on. J2009, hello. Shalom, shalom. What time is it? Uh, 726, Adertov. Good evening. Um, had fancy pitwilers. You know, it's funny. I, I did that. Twice by accident, my Rottweiler jumped on two pit bull bitches, and I called it Rotten Bull because I think it just sounded cool. Um, yeah, so I still have I still have connection to the the two best out of uh, out of those two. Yeah, my Rottweiler was just an asshole. He would jump on anything. Oh wait, I gotta go put her away. She's in heat, and then all of a sudden. Right, as soon as I have that thought. Er, er, er. Thinking about show or an event soon, bro. Wall climbing, lure chase, weight pull, etc. Soon? Depends on what you mean by soon. Not right away, no. But Andre from Samurai Kennels is doing the digital dog show. And you can find it on um, BattlebreakK9s.com. So, but that's his thing. I just kind of brought it over to our thing because it, it made sense but that's that's all him you got to ask him about that and uh also if you want to uh lighten the load on me a bit um if i like to go through him like basically if when it comes to approval of you know the game type american pitbull terrier i kind of just let that be his lane because i trust his judgment um XL Bully says, mom's more important genetically. You know, I've heard I've heard two sides to that. I've heard that I've heard some dog men say the bitch makes your yard. And then I've heard others say the opposite, that the stud makes your yard. So I, I mean, I guess it all depends. Here, here we have it. Me deal to a bit. I don't understand that, bro. Um, Lovecraft bullies. How many good good dogs did the dad throw is the real question. Yeah, very true. XL bullies, hell yes, same here in Utah. Colossal Mastiff. I'm going to dad unless the son got some something that's better than both. That makes sense, actually. Look what Lamone said, Colossal Mastiff. I'm gonna go to the dad unless the son has something that's better than both the mom and the dad. I'm thinking I'm not going to guarantee anything. I know I said I probably wouldn't breed Zuma, but now some possibilities opened up, and I might just might take Re take Reaper back to her just to kind of double up more on the, the Pitbull side of things. Um, oh, but to answer your question further, Leroy, um, yeah, I really want to get something together, but I gotta do the uh I gotta do the battle bread tour probably first before um before I do any when I sit back here, can you guys still hear me okay, by the way? But um I gotta do the battle bread tour before I could try to expand and do, you know, the shows and everything. And I'm hoping to do that at latest, at least a southeastern uh tour like next year at very latest. XL Bully said, mom's more important genetically. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. I already read that. Uh, what do you think about, whoa, that scrolled down too fast. Um, and a whole lot of people commented after that. Okay. This is, got to give me a second here to catch up. Um, uh, where am I? Where am I, man? What do you think about lurcher hunting dogs? It's funny you say that because I just did an interview 
that mentions that, like literally a few hours ago. Valley Lee Outdoors, dad old, so I'd rather go to dad while he's still living than the opportunity, than have the opportunity to line breed through half siblings. That makes sense too. Bear Blazing Bachman says depends. Uh, J2009, what is your advice for anyone wanting to become a dog breeder? That's a good one. First and foremost, don't. <laughs> Unless you really, really, really want to. That's your passion. But I'll tell you up front, you can make money other ways on dogs than just breeding. Breeding the hour spent to what you're getting paid, that usually only gets into the, the, the positive later after you've dedicated some time and you have a name for yourself. That's the most important thing, if you have a name for yourself. So what I would do actually, and I've said this to a few people, get one dog, <clears throat> your favorite breed, do a lot of research on it before you get the dog, then get that one dog and do content. Make that dog, excuse me, make that dog a star and you can start getting paid off content. Then when that dog's a star and now you're known, then you find a, another dog to make a breeding pair. That would be my best advice. How about these pa pantheras? What is that? A panther? A panthera? I don't know what that is. Love mixes. Yeah, me too. Most have no real pits. That's very true. That's why. Um, that's why I set my registry up the way I did. Love them hog hunters, hundred percent. What's your thoughts on samurai kennels? Oh, bro, that's. My brother from another mother, BBF certified. He um, he's the one who's pretty much overseeing the American pit bull terrier end of things. Because I trust him. Viking family allergy, hell yeah, I love some samurai good people. Thompson Kennels, much respect from Austria, eighty eight oh eight one five. Not that I have to worry about because both the dam and the stud are fire. Lee. Uh -oh. Lee said quality top and bottom generation after generation by a person with high standards is what makes the yard bingo anytime you see Lo uh, Lee Robinson from American Sentinel K9 pop in man it's like if you don't know nobody knows I would say feel free to go bother him but I don't know uh, you know <laughs> I think some of us bother him enough <laughs> Like your family, I'll do the bitch for me, but you can always freeze the stud. That's true. You can get the stud collected and frozen for later use. Samurai is a real one, most definitely. Uh, heavy dogs got it. Loud and clear. Salute, Viking. No doubt. Definitely got my support, bro. 100% Leroy. Happy you jumped on, brother, man. Zuma's doing great, by the way. Um, everything lined up with that perfectly. I'll give you the details later. We'll talk. Um, if I, if it was allowed here first in the woods, bro, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude at all or anything, but like, there's so many messages you're sending that are kind of mixed up. I don't, if it was allowed here first in the woods, I'm trying to understand it. Martin from Fuerza, American Bulldogs. Make sure you have money to burn before come become before becoming a breeder. Most definitely, unless unless you're just doing it once in a while, like just to get something for yourself and maybe sell a few dogs. It, it's it's a headache, man. Uh -huh, agreed. It's a pain in the ass. I've lost a hundred k so far. Yeah, it can happen. Black Powder, Steve, said uh, lurchers or cur dogs. Uh, in what context, brother? Is that like a uh, something you wanted to touch on? I keep losing my place. Something said message restricted. I don't know why. XL Bullies, I'm sitting on 14 three-week-old right now, and my TikTok got shut down because of the whiny liberals. Now I have no format except for my website, which pulls maybe 50 people a month. So have fun. Ah, uh, well, get a hold of me privately. We, we could talk about that. Maybe I can have some solutions for you. Battlebreakk9s at gmail.com. 
I had one Doberman German. I hear you. Pit Siberian Hunter. All good dogs. If you had to choose one, what would be your favorite dog breed? Ugh. I have no fucking clue. Honestly. The American Pit Bull Terrier. The American Pit Bulldog, as the BBF calls it. We call it. Because that seems to be the only right answer. Um, American Bulldogs. Van Dogs. That's a, that's a big question. No, fuck that. You know what my favorite dog is? The Lawton Bulldog. Ha 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 All a part of the APBT family. Ba, 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 ba. Dogo Amstaff Cross is called the Pero Pampa Argentino. Soon recognized breed. I've heard of this. Tell me more, please. Dogo Amstaff Cross. Is it a firecracker or what? Definitely got to have, why does it keep doing that? Definitely got to have a name, but start with quality and know your shit. Learn how to breed a dog, know how to be selective, but most importantly, don't be kennel blind. Yeah, don't be kennel blind. That's a that's a, a big factor as well. I know how badly you want your dog to be the shit, but if your dog simply isn't the shit, if it isn't the best of the best, you can't use that fucking dog, dude. Y'all should see more of me next year. Things are coming together. Lee Robinson, American Sentinel K9. Uh, Papa Man said, who's this guy? Who's who? Viking family is hardworking 40, 50 hours a week, then take care of a camp and family. Very true. Uh, this not the page bro and this is all about respect and growing the right way yeah i yeah i don't know man i don't know if uh i don't know i don't know who this guy is um he didn't really say nothing like out of pocket or anything so like but it it seemed a couple of comments seemed like on the right like on the border i just didn't know how to take it um Breeding is crazy. Yes, it is. I love all working class. Definitely. If a dog don't work, a dog doesn't eat here. I rehome it. If a dog can't do something, that's me personally. At least bite. I don't know. I, uh, you remind me of House of Pain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me? That's funny. Uh, I don't think you could beat a good old APBT. Absolutely not. And what did the old dog men say? American Pit Bull Terrier can do anything any other breed can do. And then whoop that dog's ass afterwards. Uh, Dogo Amstaff Cross sounds interesting. Sure Sure does. I don't know. I've seen some photos. The Pero Pampa Argentino. Um, I it's probably new. Running up on you. See that? That's what I'm saying. I don't get this guy. I don't know. I don't mean to be rude. No disrespect. But I got to put this this user in timeout. You got to go in the corner. Go sit. Go sit at. Go sit at the kitty the, the kitty table. I, I can't understand you. And it seems like you're saying uh. Some edgy shit. Have you heard of a blue paw terrier? Yeah. They're extinct, supposedly. But I'm sure the lines are out there somewhere. Got to get to work, but I'll jump back on when I get there. All right, brother, man. Keep me posted. I want to know how, what, what's your uh, what's your update, man. Hit me on uh, Facebook. Ow, excuse me. That guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Who is that guy? Jump around. <laughs> Except for the American Sentinel, LOL. The American Sentinel is probably probably the best band dog out there. I don't see any competition. You know why, ladies and gentlemen? Because Lee did his fucking due diligence. That's why. Educated himself. Set his goals and fucking moved on them. 
That's the problem. A lot of people have zero fucking execution, and it shows. I need to do more research on Pero Pampa. They said his combat skills are great. Never seen them live. I didn't see any videos of them. I saw photos of them, but they look pretty damn interesting. Compliment, yes. Okay, I'm going on Google. I'm going... I'm going to go Google an American Sentinel now. Oh, yeah. You can even just go to AmericanBandog.com, the B-A-N-D-O-G spelling. Pero Pampa, yeah. And now I was saying if you wanted to see the uh, American Sentinel canine, just go to AmericanBandog.com. It's the easiest way. He's on Facebook, too. H. Lee Robinson. Oh, you're on a site now. Yeah, it's those dogs are fucking firecrackers. For, and it's not just from what he said and him being a friend of mine either. Like, there's people that back up what he says. They're the only proven game band dogs there is. Uh, XL Boy said badass. Uh, Martin said Dark Silver did a good video on the Peril Pampo before his channel got shut down. Yeah, what was that all about? Dark Silver is a friend of mine, and uh, his his channel was starting to grow, and then it just randomly got shut down. It's the man, bro. It's the man. Fucking robot aliens. I'm there now. Yeah, check out his dogs. Even if I have litters on the ground, I, I, I normally send people his way if they're really looking for a band dog just because mine aren't proven yet there's so many breeds it's kind of ridiculous yeah that's true but i don't know the way kennel clubs are now like the reason i started my kennel club was i don't know i feel like kennel clubs and the breeders involved they just ruin breeds and then popularity ruined ruined breeds so starting the battlebred family initially was just to register my own dogs call it the lot and bulldog put my name on it call it a day and then other people wanted to register their dogs so now we got uh i can tell you right now actually uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten camps so far registered with us and we're all screaming fuck the world because the dog game is janky. Janky, bro. That word sounds so annoying, but it's so fun to say. Can't wait to watch your lurcher vid. Yeah, that was a pretty cool interview. It was a short interview, but it was a good one. Lee said, I picked up another book today. Handbook of Operant Conditioning. Is it just about dogs or is it um, in general? Like, is it applied to other things outside of dogs, I mean? Um, that was for Lee. Hog hunting video got him shut down. Oh, well, I got certain hog hunting stuff, but I don't know. I didn't, I didn't let it get too graphic. Um, Leroy said, agreed, bro. Registries, registries forgot their ethical purposes. Exactly. And they're supposed to be kennel clubs for the dog community, but they don't act like it's a community at all. Your dogs and the person, it's just another fucking registration number. They don't give a damn. I don't know, man. I just kind of felt like I wanted to put, you know, the word community back in dog community. Have like an actual club of people that you could reach out to you know like um you know my dog's doing this or my dog's doing that what should i do and you got a list of 40 motherfuckers you could just call um a lot of haters and naysayers in the breeding game always shitting on the next man's work yeah exactly it's a it's like high school clicks and if you're on, and if you're not doing exactly what they're doing that's when the trouble starts I forgot who said it, 
if one of you knows, remind me. But um, the the quote was, uh, "If you want haters, all you got to do is change something." What does janky mean? Just curious. Uh, janky, messed up. Uh, <laughs> for example, when I used to record music before I got like my own pop filter to put in front of the microphone, you know, you use like a piece of cloth on a fucking wire hanger, which every rapper has done in history. It's a janky setup. Make sense? Kind of. <laughs> Good stuff. Lee Robinson. Yeah, absolutely. Behavior modification. Gotcha. We were getting strikes for hog hunting videos. Had to delete them all or lose the channel. I haven't gotten anything like that, but I've been I've been kind of trying to keep it PG-13. I mean, you might see, you know, a dog in the bush shaking, you know, like he's ripping at something. But I never showed, like, the gory stuff. And people send me a lot of fucking videos. On Russian YouTube, you can watch everything. Said that YouTube banned people with hog hunting. Yeah, that uh, Russian uh, search engine. Alex asks, how many shepherds do I got registered? Just your two, bro. Just your two shepherds, Omen and Rocco. And all the dogs that are registered are on BattlebreakCanines.com. I put every single dog we register up there. So, yeah, it's, it's growing pretty rapidly as far as people committing to it, um, which is surprising. Well, not really, because it just tells me that there's a lot of other like-minded people that are sick of kennel clubs. I don't care what dog I have. I'm not using a fucking kennel club. I'll stick to my own paperwork. I'll stick to my own community. And kiss my ass, so what? Yeah, I'm sitting awkward in this chair, so I'm sorry. I keep uh, moving around. What do you do when or if two females hate each other and want to kill each other all the time? Hmm. What kind of dogs would be my first question? Because if they're bulldogs, I mean, dogs in general. Rottweilers? Yeah, I don't know if you're ever going to really fix it. You could try. But two females, two female Rottweilers that hate each other, I mean, that's that's a tough one. When my Rottweiler went at my Borble Yoshi and they just started going at it, first it just started as a tussle, you know, when they're fucking snarling face to face up on their hind legs. But then it started to turn out, uh, turn into warfare and I had to separate the two. Uh, Martin at Fuerza said, had some female American Bulldogs hold a grudge for life, three years old. Yeah, like Lamone said, just keep them separated. It's what's best. It's a pain in the ass to have to rotate them. I get it, but it's better than, you know, losing a dog. It was on site. Never again could be together. Yeah, I, uh, I can agree with that. Bulldogs are some hard-headed some bitches. Who's this? Nope, YouTube. Vasquez MMA 21. I keep them separate and they walk up to each other with no problems. But the moment we go for walks, they just stare each other down. Yeah, I had that issue a long time ago. Like when I was back home, I had two bitches that just absolutely wouldn't get along at all. We're up to 37 people. Not bad. Share, share, share it on Facebook. I'll probably give you another 20 minutes so we can get these questions in. I just want to touch base with everybody. We are still accepting registration. There's not really, um, excuse me, there's not really, uh, time isn't of the essence right now, but it will be at some point. No time soon. But I don't want to um, 
I don't want to just let in every kennel under the sun. I want it to be kind of exclusive. Steve from Black Powder said, my male Patterdales hate my male pit. But let me ask you this, Steve. Do your male Patterdales get along? Like, can you take them together on a hunt? How do you register a dog without papers? Uh, well, first and foremost, big salute to Lee Robinson. He kind of put the idea in my head a long time ago. Pedigree is good. But if there is an exceptional dog that doesn't have a pedigree, then I'll register the dog um, to at least give him a start. But my rules are pretty simple. I want to see the dog put teeth on something. You know, whether it's man work, hell, I'll take sport work because some of those dogs are good at man work. So as long as, long as the genetics are there to create, you know, protection dogs, hog dogs, hunting dogs, vermin control, even like uh, as long as the dog is battle bred, so to speak, if it's bred for some kind of combative pur uh, purpose. Um. Steve said, yes. So they do get along while on a hunt. That's wild. I, and that's pretty impressive because I thought, you know, when, when I'm being fired up, they would redirect. But I guess just generations of uh, breeding. He said he kills groundhogs and cats. Well, I don't want him to kill cats. Why does he got to kill cats? One of, one of my dogs got a hold of a stray or two, but it's not something I like. Cats can be cool, even though they're useless. Um, well, my cat hits rodents. I'm like, yeah, but I, the dog could do that. Steve said they stick together like glue. That's fucking awesome. And everybody that's listening, um, we still have black powder terriers on the ground. So you can hit me up, or if you get a hold of Steve, either or. Um... I set it up to where if you hit me up, I'll put you through the, the whole process and then get you in touch with Steve just so that he doesn't have a hundred people hounding him at once. Um, how would you break up a dog fight? That depends. One, you should have a break stick. You should have a break stick even if you don't need it. Um, it's just, it's like having a pistol. It's better to have one and not need it. But, if you absolutely have to break up a dog fight, um, it's best to have, in my experience, there might be better ways, but it's best to have two people on the opposite ends of the dog. You grab by the back legs and then you wait for whoever's locked on who to loosen their grip to redirect, hoping they re they loosen their grip to redirect so you can pull them away. Um, other than that, uh, I don't know. I think you, I'm not a professional in that area. Um, I think you should probably ask Lee that one. Uh, just alley cats that get in the yard. I don't like them killing them, but it happens. Oh, well, that's fair. Especially when, you know, outdoor cats are just breeding like fucking rabbits. Two break sticks at all time, one for each dog. That's a good idea. Jackie Miller said, Nicholas Bronson, stay calm would be the first thing. Absolutely. Um, I've seen people try to break up a dog fight by kicking the dog or throwing something at the dog or whatever the hell. All you're doing is hyping the dog up more. You're making him want to fight more. Um, when you hit him or kick him or spray him with water. If the dog wants to fight, spraying him with water isn't going to do shit. Zelja. Kais, kiss, kiss, something. I don't, I, I don't know how to say that name, but um, I think Patterdale Terrier is smarter than most people nowadays. Yeah, once I get this, uh, this land, which I'm getting pretty desperate because the town I live in sucks donkey dick. Um, yeah, I'm desperate to get some land, and I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have killers of every size. I'm not gonna do Patterdales. I'm gonna do Black Powder Terrier, so I could help support Steve and. Uh, and, and get that more established. So when I did the lot and bulldog, I thought, you know, this would be my medium size, medium to large size dog for combat, but I want something smaller and not really serious about it. I was thinking, oh, what if I had a, a lot and terrier of some sort? But once, 
you know, I was talking to Steve and he's doing the black powder thing. And then he came to me for registration. I was like, I'll just support him. So I'll get a few dogs from him for my property and help the breeding program. Alex said, no, every dog fight is a chance for you to get hurt. But as Mr. Bronson says, staying calm is number one. Absolutely. Um, Martin from Fuerza said, putting your hand under the top side of the dog collar, palm up, grab and twist, cuts off air, stand in the doorway or kennel entrance. That actually, yeah, well said for sure. I'm kind of new here. What is the Lawton Bulldog? Well, uh, my name is Eric Lawton, and I planned on trying to create um, a band dog type dog fit for survival. Um, yes, I'm a crazy doomsday prepper. Now it's becoming normal. Um, so I spent like probably just a decade thinking about it. And then I finally got a, a hold of a, a Borble, which was an exceptional Borble as far as his look. Didn't have the most fire, but he was a good yard guardian, you know. Um, and I stuck him to what's what you would call a classic or OG bully um, when they still had fire in them, when they were still called blue pits, you know. But at uh, Battlebred Family, we registered those as American Pit Bulldogs instead of American Pit Bull Terriers, as well as the Amstaff, the Working Bully, the Working Pit Bulldog. That's all under one umbrella in our club. But the Lawton Bulldog is just what comes from me off of my crosses to develop a survival dog, if that makes sense. Um, Fast Quest MMA said, I tried that. She slipped out. Just got to make sure that the collar is on tight enough. You should be able to fit two to three fingers comfortably under the collar without it being able to slip past the jaw. That's how you measure how a collar should be fitted. Two, maybe three fingers, snug, but not gripping, basically. Dominic G, APBT, Fuerza, crazy doomsday preppers in the house. I need new conspiracy theories because all mine became true. Exactly. <laughs> You're a crazy doomsday prepper. Oh, wait, that came true. That came true. That came true. We were right about that. We were right about that. Air we breathe is fucking poison. I mean, as I'm sucking back a cancer stick, but whatever. Still got 30 in the building. Steve said, tractor supply has cow prods if you're a solo breeder. Yeah, but I mean, shit, it has to come to that. Isn't that one of those things where you zzz, zzz, like a like an animal taser or some shit? American Sentinel. Lee said, if alone, leash the lesser one to a secure anchor, Coll collar dominating one, stretch the end of the line, break stick used on dominant dog first, then turn dominant dog, and then break lesser dog. Like I said, that's why Lee's the mentor, bro. If you don't know, nobody knows. That Zach Apps, I don't know if you want to get censored, but I got lots of theories that will eventually get proven to be true. Well, I plan on um, <clears throat> plan on creating a <clears throat> excuse me a platform for that very thing. I just haven't fully thought out the process yet. But yeah, conspiracy theories or truth theories. Some of them are bullshit, but so many of them are not. It's like ninety percent of what they said were conspiracy theories turned out to be true. The ones I've heard anyway. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, don't say that word out loud. I like how you did that. Um, yeah, and that's everywhere. Celebrities, yeah, we won't talk about that on here. God forbid Eric Lawton goes missing, right? I like how you wrote that, though. That's clever. Got to keep these babies safe, man. See what else is in here. Boop, boop, boop. boop. <laughs> J two thousand and nine. I like that. Check it. 
Да, Okay. The world's currency is not oil, not money, not gold, but yeah, that I think I think at the I think at the top of the mountain you're absolutely right. Explains why Madonna still looks like she's in her fucking forties. Um Trying to see who else messaged me back. We're up to 35 people. Give it a share on Facebook. I'm only going to be on here another five minutes, though. I try to keep it an hour. Just so people don't get tired of staring at my mug although I know most of you are fucking dog fiends so I appreciate that love that's smart creating a dog for survival the funny thing is all breeds are created for a purpose they were supposed to be anyway you're right um, and it's needed today I mean there's just way too much going on, man, especially, I mean, this country is being threatened at every angle right now. So if you don't, if you don't have an able-bodied dog, I think, you know, you're kind of screwed. It's just so necessary. We had a total of what, like 40 people in here at once. That wasn't a bad day. But if that's all for q and I'm going to start wrapping this up, ladies and germs. I appreciate you all jumping on. Battlebred Concepts, Battlebred Canines, Battlebred Family. Battlebred is life. And if anybody has any more questions about the registry, just email me, battlebredcanines at gmail.com. Big salute, Jacob Bonner. There he is. Uh, also, when it comes to... Um, all the dogs that we have registered, if you want to check those out, BattlebredCanines.com. Yes, Sersky. Yeah, I'll let it get to that solid hour mark in case anybody has any other questions. It's smoky in here. Bruce, you just got here. I'm getting ready to wrap up, brother, but I know you're busy out there. By the way, we do have um, some American Bulldog pups that just hit the ground. Bruce and Katrina have emailed me the photos of those, and I'll get them up as soon as I can. Um, great performance bred American Bulldogs for all you hog doggers out there, and they can definitely do some personal protection work. Great animals. I enjoyed the live chat. Peace, take care. You as well, little goat number one. I see you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> he said, open a window, bro. I don't want to. It's muggy out, bro. So I got the AC running. But once it cools off, I, I'm going to have to open the window. Um, Bruce has a nice American Bulldogs. He sure does, man. Now, Martin, if you want those bullier, more property protection type dogs, just the you know, a little less fire to them. They're just huge. Um, go to Martin for some American Bulldogs. Those are very impressive looking animals. Lovecraft Bullies. How much are those black powder pups? Pups, Black powder pups? Say that 10 times fast. Going for Email me. Battlebreakcanines at gmail.com. I can send you pictures and everything of the black powder terriers. Um, fear and loathing and love. Las Vegas, Hunter S. Thompson, read that book, people. Absolutely. Any book requests? Any movie requests as well? Because especially horror films, they just seem to be regurgitated these days. Martin said, my dogs will bite. Thank you. Absolutely. And your dogs are terrifying, bro. 
I still say, <laughs> I still say some of your dogs look like Nemesis from Resident Evil. If that thing comes strutting towards me, I might shit a brick if I don't know it. Fuck that. <laughs> the Green Book from Muammar Gaddafi is a great read. Never heard of that one. A Pale White Horse, William Cooper. I have that book. I think I've only read a few a few pieces of it. I think I left it in my mom's living room, actually. A Pale White Horse, William Cooper. Yeah, yeah, I left it in my mother's living room. All right, everybody, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go order some pizza. Diamond get Connie Corso. Where you been, man? If I wasn't into the Corsos, I'd be all over some some of them good ABs or Lee's band dogs. Absolutely. I have one more question. What is that? J2009. Hit me. I'm going to hop on your Lurcher vid. It's not up yet, my friend. I still got to edit it and put it up, the Lurcher vid. American Pitbull Terrier, the American icon, the most game animal on earth. Absolutely. Peace, everyone. BBF 100. Absolutely. Big salute, Steve. Thanks for jumping on, bro. Um, continue to send me all the updates on the Black Powder Terrier so we can get these guys sold to the right homes. Hunting homes only. What do I think the scariest dog breed is? My ex-wife. I'm totally... I shouldn't say that's not nice. <laughs> um, I don't know. The scariest dog I stood in front of and almost took a bite as a decoy was a Malinois because that dog was so fired up, I thought maybe he might redirect from the sleeve and hit my face. Damn, brother. Sorry I'm late. Lost track of time at the gym. Fuck that, bro. You were at the, you were at the gym. Got to get those gains. I was supposed to go gym two days in a row, but I hurt myself somehow because I'm a fucking idiot. Jacob Bonner, BPG. Oh, big salute. Black Powder Gamekeepers, absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have said that. That's funny, though. But all right, y'all. See you next time. I love you all. Big salute. Big shout out to everybody who jumped on. I'll see you guys next time. God bless.